day by day. Well, I'm a, I'm a producer, first, foremost. I'm a remixer, which is basically another name for a producer. So let's just say producer. And I'm also a DJ. He's the best I've worked with, sonically wise. Like, I, I think Dave gets some of the best sounds out there. Beautiful. We're gonna do one last one. One last one. One more. For the most part, I make dance music. People know me as a dance music producer. He's great because he understands grooves so well and could be simple or it could be super complex and he just gets that. I would send these mixes in the moonshine and I would get them back and they would sound great. I'd be like, this turned out better than I thought it did. He did the mastering for the mixes at Moonshine. He would get my stuff and be like, oh, hell no, and throw all this production on it. Got my first keyboard when I was 13 years old. My dad got me a keyboard. I didn't even know what a keyboard was, but brought it home and started hitting knobs and turning knobs and reading manuals. Just been doing music my whole life, listening to music and making music. And I was very fortunate in the early 90s to hook up with a guy named Steve Levy. Dave had a big part in what we were doing at Moonshine as a producer, and probably one of the biggest parts he had was producing Kiyoki's albums. And, you know, those albums went on to sell hundreds of thousands of units, and, you know, they were, they were pretty big. And, but the work that he had to put in to make them happen was just crazy. He gets up every morning at 9 a.m., and he begins going through his emails and the music that's sent to him while he eats his breakfast. Then he gets out of his pajamas and goes to work in the studio from 10 until about 1, 1.30. He stops for lunch, he has a half hour lunch, and back into the studio, and he works until dinner time. He'll take a one hour break for dinner while he watches part of a Lakers game, then back into the studio, and he'll work in the studio till like 1 a.m. every day, and the cycle starts again. Day by day, has done so many great productions. Like he just told me recently, 40 number one songs on the Billboard dance chart. That is ridiculous. For the last 15 years, I've been remixing, you know, large artists, major artists, independent artists, uh, my own records. I've remixed everybody from Madonna to Britney Spears to Coldplay to Pussycat Dolls to Beyonce, Sting, U2. Pretty much remixed everybody there is. I know Dave from back in his moonshine glory days with all the glory haircuts, and supposedly he had some techno band before that. What is it, Lunatic Fringe or something like that? Lunatic Fringe he was in. When I'm DJing a club and it's peak hour and I want to set the party off and I know I'm going to play something that all the girls are going to go crazy over, I just reach into the audacious record crate. Every record Dave produces is a smash. I got into this club music, electronic music thing, because I love the music and I love DJing. DJing keeps my ear to the ground and it keeps me relevant in the music that I make in the studio. If you can't go out and hear the music you make, how are you going to know how people react to it? Vegas, here we are. Straight off the plane from LA, ready to rock. Day by day, as no driver. They tend to put me on a stage or in a booth that's way far away from the crowd. And I always tell them, put me right next to the dance floor because I want to be down there with the people so I can feel the energy of the people on the dance floor because that's how you're going to know what's going on and, and what you need to play. Nothing better than playing one of your own tracks in a packed club and having everybody in the place with their hands in the air singing along to one of your songs. To